Can you hold your numbers out for it? The diocese asked us to use this high yield strategy at the beginning of last year. The purpose of it really is for us to gather data about what is happening in classrooms, looking at the consistency of practice, looking at whether the goals of the school are reflected in the teaching and learning in the learning spaces. Okay. So do you have a better understanding now? Generally we do three walks a week at minimum. Uh, I take my assistant principal, uh, lead teachers with me when possible and um, in St Joseph's we do uh, two walks a year where the whole staff are engaged. When we visit the classrooms uh, and we have an opportunity to talk to the children about their learning, the five questions that we ask them are what are you learning, how are you doing, how do you know? How can you improve? And where do you go for help? What were some of the elements that um, Jeanette, as lead teacher, you've um, identified for us to see? Well, I thought this morning we could perhaps look at um, the learning intentions and success criteria. Teachers actually come in and it's all positive, which is fantastic because they actually tell you um, what you're doing right, what the kids are learning. They provide positive feedback and I think it starts a discussion between the teaching staff about what we're doing and how we can improve and improve the students' level of education. Instructional walks have been a very valuable professional experience for the staff at this school. It's a very valuable leadership experience for me because it allows me to be part of the instruction. I'm aware of the issues that teachers are facing I'm aware of the needs, I'm aware of the resources that we do or do not have. So it helps me in a whole variety of ways with leadership.